the last of the essential characteristics of cloud as defined by the NIST is it supports a measured service. As the NIST say, cloud systems automatically control and optimize resource use by leveraging a metering capability at some level of abstraction appropriate to the type of service. For example, storage, processing, bandwidth, and active user accounts. Resource usage can be monitored, controlled, and reported, providing transparency for both the provider and consumer of the utilized service. So with cloud services, typically they're gonna be multi-tenant. You're not gonna just have one enterprise on there. There's gonna be multiple enterprises so the cloud provider needs to be able to measure how much of the service each customer is using and bill them accordingly. Billing will typically be monthly and is an ongoing operational expenditure cost from the customer's viewpoint. The choice of pay-as-you-go or fixed monthly plans is often available. If you go for a fixed monthly plan, you'll usually get a discount in there compared to what you would pay for the more convenient pay as you go. And this is going to be just a really short lesson because exactly what is billed depends on what service model is being used, whether it's infrastructure as a service, platform as a service or software as a service. And I haven't covered what the different service models are yet. So in the upcoming lessons, it's actually the next module where I'm gonna cover the service models for each one of the different types of IAS, PAS and SAS. I'll give you a bit more details in those individual lessons about how the billing will work for that actual type of service. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful, then you can click the link above my head now to get access to my complete introduction to Cloud Course. That's all for free. And also please subscribe so that you can get my latest tutorials.